Howdy folks, welcome to Geeky Nerdy Techie. Today I'll be reviewing my 4K monitor. It's the Acer HB 281HK monitor. This is a 4K monitor and I've had a chance to use it now for about two or three weeks and it's been amazing. I also own a 27 inch iMac as well with the 5K monitor. I have to say first off, I plugged this in and as soon as I loaded up a 4K desktop image, I was like, wow, this is amazing. So it's very, very close to the quality you can expect from the 5K monitors from Mac. I'm not sure if my eyes can really tell a difference between 4 and 5K. The only difference is if you're working in a project that's 4K, say a video project, you're gonna have that little bit of extra room on a 5K monitor, whereas on a 4K monitor, it will actually fill the entire space. Some of the things I really love about this monitor is one, it's awesome for gaming. I've been using it for Counter-Strike, CSGO, and I've also been using it for Red Alert. I'll also show you some video footage of that in a moment. Yes, I know some of those games are old school, but that's the way I roll. I love those old school first person shooters and real time strategy games. Another cool feature is it does come with a display port adapter. You can also run a secondary HDMI input connection into this monitor at the same time and have a picture in picture kind of deal. So you can be working on your desktop over here and say be playing Xbox or whatever over here or using that for video or whatever you want. Whatever you plug into the second HDMI port, you can have as a picture in picture. You can also just pick between which one you wanna see as a full screen option as well. This might be handy if you don't have a television and you're a gamer and you play consoles, for example, you can use this monitor for two things and have two individual inputs. I'm using the GTX 1060 six gigabyte video card I used to run two 22 inch monitors, but instead I really love the workflow on the Mac, just having one big screen. So I thought I'd do the same with my PC and I've never looked back. Please also note, I'm not sponsored by Acer or Officeworks where I bought this monitor. I really needed a new screen and I was torn between a 1080 screen of the same size or getting the 4K monitor. And after I got the 4K, there's no going back. So let me talk about some of the other pros about this monitor. I essentially now have twice the usable space I have on my desktop with just one screen at this resolution as opposed to two lower resolution dual monitor setups that I was running before. There are some trade-offs. Sometimes when you're running at this sort of resolution, some of the older programs aren't optimized for 4K, obviously. So some of the toolbars are really small. There's one trick I've also enabled. I used this on Windows 7 and I also used it on Windows 10 when I did the upgrade to see how it would work you have to turn up your magnification settings to about 150% larger than normal, and then things start to look right. It doesn't work for all of the programs, but it will work for the majority of them. For gaming, makes no difference. But for icons and toolbars and all that kind of stuff, it does help, but it won't help in 100% of situations. One thing I need to point out, and it didn't come to my attention until after I put this thing together, was how much space the actual base plate of the monitor takes up. It's quite large. If you do have a small desk, just make sure it's gonna fit. Check it out in the shop if you do get a chance to see one in person before you buy it. The actual base plate's quite large. It should fit fine on most desks. For me, it's just sitting about two centimeters over the edge of the back of my actual desk. I downsized to a smaller desk once I got the Mac and I also did the same for my PC. I'm running two of these desks now in this room. It looks like I have a lot more space because I don't have all the monitors cluttering up my desk. Let's see how it looks with some game footage. As you can hear right now, you're listening to the onboard speakers. They're extremely tinny and not very good sounding. So yeah, my suggestion would be use actual speakers, but I'll leave them on there for now just so we can show you some game footage. So for resolution's sake, I've got everything on high and very high, and we're running it at the 2K display, which is 2560 by 1440. I'm not running it at full 4K. I find that for my particular setup, my CPU and video card, it seems to get the best frames per second on this setting. So let's take a look. It looks stunning compared to the previous monitor that I had. It also features a one millisecond refresh rate. So it's super fast. My old one, I think was five or six somewhere around there, so it's much, much more responsive, which is awesome. Please also note that my actual video camera is shooting at 1080p. So if it looks good at 1080p, it'll look awesome when you see it at 4K. So as you can hear, the onboard speakers aren't very good, so I'm gonna go back to my Logitech's here. Much, much better. This Rode microphone should definitely be picking up the sound. 
I'm gonna turn my net graph on as well. I'm gonna use my noob bison right now. So my FPS is somewhere around 170, 180, it clicks over 200, which is good. I'm on casual right now, so I'm just gonna spam around. Oh, didn't work, but as you can see, FPS, 200 plus, which is amazing, even with the GTX. One thing I was worried about when upscaling to this monitor was I was hoping my FPS wouldn't drop below 120. It seems to average between 120 and 200 on the most part with my current setup, so it seems to be fine. If I do drop the resolution or the quality, you'll notice that it will also go back up. So as you can hopefully see it, having a huge screen like this is awesome. Ah. Oh. <laughs> I love the shotguns. Anyway, I got a kill, so that's all that matters. Let's rage quit. So as you're about to see right now, you can see the play and pause button within Sony Vegas, for example. I'm just gonna pan across a little bit here. Now, if I zoom back and show you the actual full screen of this, check out how small they actually are. <laughs> so when you're up close, you can still see them fine. Just bear in mind they're going to look a lot smaller than they generally would on a lower resolution monitor, so keep that in mind. If you have really bad eyesight, maybe the 4K option's not for you. If you're using specific programs, it may suffer from these small icons uh, within the actual programs. With the only adjustment for me being that some of the icons in some of my older programs are a little bit too small for 4K. Overall, I'm extremely happy with this purchase. It was around $499 or give or take a few dollars in Australia from Officeworks and it's a really great monitor. Right now in Australia for a 31 inch monitor like this, you're not gonna find one at a better price. There's not a whole lot I can say negative about this monitor other than the actual physical space that the base takes up as well as what we just saw talking about how some of the icons in some of the programs might look a little bit smaller than they would normally on a lower resolution monitor. The pros are, I think this is just as nice as my Mac monitor, except it doesn't have the glass over it, which I think adds to some of the niceness on the Mac. And it's one of those things, I'm not sure I can really tell a difference between a 4K monitor and a 5K monitor, just looking at it, but I can sure as heck tell the difference between a 4K monitor and a standard resolution monitor it makes a huge difference. Not only does it look great for gaming, it just absolutely helps your workflow. It's awesome for me to be able to multitask without having to pull things across. I've now got about four times the amount of workspace on this actual screen than you would get on a regular monitor. And what's awesome about that is if I'm doing my audio engineering, my programs for that look amazing. I've got heaps of tracks I can see. I can also see all my mixes and all of that kind of stuff in one big view. I don't have to keep pulling things across and moving things around. So in terms of just execution of work, it's gonna be a lot quicker and a lot easier to manage. If I was to give this a rating out of five, I would give it a 4.5. I'm gonna leave half a point there because I haven't tried a lot of other 4K monitors. The only other high res monitor I've tried for a computer is my Mac, as I've mentioned a few times. So this has made using my PC a dream compared to before. I'd always favor my Mac due to the screen size. It's a 27 inch screen on that. This is a 31. I find I'm using this more now. And what can I say? It's awesome. Thanks for watching. My name's Shane. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions about the review or the video, please let me know and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If you'd like to see more videos, please hit subscribe and like. I absolutely appreciate that. There's been a few really cool comments on the last video I did of this monitor when I unboxed it. And I wanted to use it for a couple of weeks, two to three weeks to get a feel for it, make sure there were no glitches and I haven't seen any video glitches or anything. All I can tell you is the onboard speakers. That's where that other half a point goes. The onboard speakers are like if you're desperate and you have no other option. I would much prefer to use headphones or third party speakers for gaming or music. There's just no two ways about it. Thanks again for watching folks. Don't forget, please click subscribe and like if this video was helpful and I'll catch you all on the next video. See ya.